Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle and on today's video we're going to be talking about another Neville Goddard technique that I've been using for years and it has just come to my attention that a lot of people would benefit from this because it has to do with recreating past events. Yes, you heard it. I know a lot of people have been told that you cannot change the past. But for today's video, I'm gonna be talking about a specific technique that Neville himself used in order to prove to yourself that your past is irrelevant. Just so you guys know, I am a mindset and manifestation coach and I am a certified EFT practitioner. If you guys would like to get some one-on-one -on -one coaching or you just want someone that's going to help you clear out some of your limiting beliefs about things that you have going on in your life, then just check out my description box down below. Neville has a book called The Pruning Shears of Revision. And in this book, he talks about how you can go into your imagination in state akin to sleep, this is in a drowsy state right before bed, and you can review your day and you can go into your imagination and recreate your day the way that you wanted it to go so that tomorrow when you wake up, you will have better interactions with people, you will have better thoughts, and therefore you will be able to create better circumstances in your life. Okay, so let's go to what Neville says about the pruning shears of revision. This is how Neville says that he does it, and I'm going to give you guys an example of how you can use this for yourself. Now, this is how I do it. I rewrite it and make it conform to the ideal day I wish I had experienced. I take scene after scene and rewrite it, revise it, and having revised my day, then in my imagination, I relive that day, the revised day, and I do it over and over in my imagination until this seemingly imagined state begins to take on the tones of reality. It seems that it's real, that I actually did experience it, and I have found from experience that these revised days, if really lived, will change my tomorrows. When I meet people tomorrow that today disappointed me, they will not tomorrow. For in me, I have changed the very nature of that being, and having changed him, he bears witness tomorrow of the change that took place within me. You are the master of your world. You create your reality. Your subconscious mind is an obedient companion. The imagination is where you want to go when you are recreating your day. Let's just say, for example, you have an argument with someone and this argument was bad. You guys said things that you did not mean. And here you are thinking about this thing consistently over and over and over. Instead of doing that, as soon as you are done with the argument and you've had a moment to process what happened, go into your imagination. You can do this in a very relaxed, drowsy state. Calm yourself down. And you go into your mind and imagine the conversation going the way that you wanted it to go. Don't ask, don't ask me in the comments, well, that's not, how is that possible? It's possible because in your imagination, that is the only place that is real. Whatever you create in your imagination is going to be real. So recreate the situation that you did not like recreate it the way that you wanted it to go so instead of cursing the person maybe you would hear the person saying i really appreciate you i understand you and i'm so glad that you and i are in a beautiful relationship or if you had a bad day at work and everything that could go wrong went wrong what you could do is when you get home right before you go to bed you imagine yourself having the most amazing day Everyone that you talked to was giving you high fives. People were giving you compliments. And as you fall asleep in that state and feel it to be real, when you wake up tomorrow, you will have a better outcome from imagining yourself experiencing this. You are using revision to recreate the memory. It doesn't mean that physically the thing never happened. What it is, in my opinion, I think revision works by changing the way you see the situation and how you feel about the situation. Therefore, moving forward, when you think of the situation that you didn't like because you revised it the way you wanted it to be, 
you will feel differently and therefore you will have different experiences in the future. Pick one thing in your life that you didn't like that happened and immediately when you go to bed tonight, go into your beautiful imagination and imagine yourself experiencing it the way you wanted it to go. Just test this out for yourself. You know, this is not something that I'm just spouting off. These are people who have done revision and who have had amazing results. You can look this stuff up on YouTube. You can go to Reddit. You can go to Neville's teachings. Revision works. It is something that has changed the way I see my past because I revised a lot of things from my childhood. I come from very humble beginnings. I'm an adopted kid. There was a lot of craziness going on in my childhood and I really don't have a lot of negative feelings about my childhood anymore because I was able to go into my imagination and recreate the the situations and now I experience my past thoughts like my thoughts of the past I experience them differently like instead of me being a poor kid I imagine myself having dolls and toys and um, really nice clothes and so now when I think about myself as a little girl I think of all the beautiful things that I experienced and the past negative things that I experienced as a kid they're not a part of my world anymore you know so um, this is something that you can definitely use for yourself please tell me down in the comments if you've ever used revision and if you've ever had um, a situation happened where revision has changed the way you see yourself in, in the past, okay? Because we need to be able to let other people know the things that are working in our lives so that we can help each other manifest the things that we desire to have. You guys take care of yourself wherever you are and have a beautiful day. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace!